Hey there, welcome to this walkthrough of the quality gate feature in test observability. Before we get started, what is test observability? Test observability is an all-in-one tool for test reporting, debugging, analytics, and monitoring, and comes with advanced features like AI-driven failure categorization, flakiness detection, and customizable dashboards. It works regardless of where your tests run, whether that is on browser stack or a local grid, and for every type of test too, from API tests to UI tests. Now, let's start setting up the quality gate by heading to settings. Then click on quality gate. Turn the quality gate toggle on to ensure the analysis runs when your build completes. You can also override your build status with the quality gate status. Now we can configure some quality profiles. Quality profiles are groups of rules. A build can have multiple quality profiles, each with its own set of rules, rolling up into a single quality gate result. Let's check out the browser stack default quality profile, an out-of-the-box profile which will help you get started faster. This is a collection of best practice rules, based on inputs from millions of test data points on the test observability platform, and feedback from countless users. Let's create a custom quality profile now by clicking on Create. Choose a name. Then, we can set up the targeting for this profile. A quality profile can target all projects from your organization, or just your current project. This can help you enforce org-wide standards or run checks specific to your project. The quality profile can also be targeted at specific builds, either by custom build tags or by build name. Let's have this new quality profile target my regression build. Now we can start adding rules. You can choose from more than 10 customizable rules, from ML-powered failure category thresholds to test status checks. This can help you set up precise and thorough quality standards for every build. For example, the test executions threshold rule allows me to ensure a minimum number of tests have run. This type of rule helps me avoid false positives by ensuring all important scenarios have actually been checked. Let's add some more rules. Test observability automatically detects flaky tests, new failures, or other problem tests in your builds. With the Smart Tags Threshold rule, I can set a threshold for these problem tests. You can even prevent error regressions by adding the New Unique Errors rule. This can check if a test failed with a new error that you haven't seen before. This is a feature unique to test observability and helps you use errors as a dimension in evaluating builds. Let's take a look at how you can customize each rule further. You can customize the scope of each rule to apply to a whole build, or just to specific tests within a build. You can do this by clicking on any tests or overall build in a rule, and then clicking on Selected Tests. You can filter tests by custom test tags or even by folder or file path. Let's configure this rule to target a specific class. Once you're done filtering, click on Apply. Another handy feature is the ability to set up a Passes If or Fails If type of quality profile. A passes if type profile requires every single rule to be true to pass. This type of profile can be used to ensure that builds meet a set of baseline requirements. On the other hand, the fails if type profile fails even if a single rule is true. This type of profile can be used to look for breaches in your build that are unacceptable for you. Now we're done adding all our rules, we can click on Create. Your quality gate is now ready to help you start automating the build verification process. Now, let's look at how you can integrate the result of the quality gate into your CICD workflows. You can access the quality gate result via an API. The API returns the quality gate status and a detailed breakdown of the quality profiles and rules for each build. To help you get started even faster, we've collated some example scripts in our documentation. These can help you interpret the quality gate result and automate your pipelines. Let's see this in action. I've got the quality gate result integrated with my Jenkins pipeline. Let's run a build and see what happens. After a minute or so, I can see that my JUnit test step has passed. However, the quality gate check has failed and caused the pipeline job to be marked as failed. Now let's head to test observability and see what happened. I can see that the build has been marked as failed because my quality gate status has overridden the build status. Let's check out what happened by clicking on the run. As you can see, all 86 tests in this build have passed, but the quality profile we created has failed. It appears that the flakiness threshold we set has been breached, causing the quality gate to fail. 
we could have accidentally deployed some faulty code if we hadn't checked this first. Now, we can debug these tests in test observability and check if this build is good to go. With the quality gate feature, you can effectively minimize the time you spend verifying a build and push code to production faster. You can also use the quality gate in a number of creative use cases, from preventing low priority test cases blocking a pipeline to rolling back production deployments if checks fail after release. Thank you for watching. We're excited to see what you'll build with quality gate and test observability.